and welcome to MG Tracy, where if you're about to become, or are now, the proud owner of a Dolstate Gusta machine from uh, Nescafe, then let me show you how to make the best Starbucks coffee at home. Now, you may have one of these or something very similar the, uh, from Dolce Gusto. First thing is, make sure you've got fresh water in there. Don't leave yesterday's tap water in there. You don't need to filter the water, that's fine. Another thing to look out for is uh, Moon In. You can find little versions of this sort of bottle or big bottle. Uh, and these are natural different flavours. I think they come from France. They're a lot of fun. If you want to alter the taste of some of your coffees, make them a bit different, vanilla, uh, or caramel or whatever then a good dollop of that in the glass before you pour your coffee will give you different flavours. So here we're looking at the Starbucks House Blend Americano and it is a very fine coffee indeed. And if you shake it you don't actually hear a lot but what's in there is ground up coffee beans. Now you will find you can buy much cheaper pods that fit but if you just have a little look inside Try to do that without putting yourself in the emergency room. What's actually in there? It's just coffee powder with some milk powder. It's not ground coffee beans. And to me, if you're going to do that, what is the point of having a coffee machine if you're just going to do instant coffee? You could have saved yourself some money and just had instant coffee. If you've got a coffee machine, spend a bit more on the nice pods and have something that's a bit different to instant coffee. Right, now then, off we go. Uh, we'll lift this out and you should get a light here. It, if it's flashing red, it is uh, heating up the water. This is green, it's ready to go. So we've got our little tray. All we do is drop that pod in there. Remember these pods can be recycled, just Google pod back and you can be sent a free envelope to send those back free posts um, rather than just going to landfill. Now on this model the uh, Dolce Gusta does not turn itself off. Okay, Left is cold if you want to do an iced coffee, to the right is hot but it doesn't turn itself off. The top end models do, you have a little slidey bit here and uh, they will marry up with a little code here so you know and the machine knows how long to run so you need to stand by your coffee and you need to turn it off when it reaches the right level so i always put the coffee in first and if you do want a splash of milk do that after Once that liquid starts to run a lighter brown or clear, actually you've got that about as strong as you're going to get it. And you get a lovely swirl effect here, it's the pint of Guinness effect I call it. And all we now need to do for me is just have a little splash of milk in there. Um, if you're going to want to make a cappuccino or something you're going to need a milk frother and something to froth up the milk. But if you just want to have uh, like a white coffee then that is now that smell from that um, Starbucks is amazing it is fantastic it takes me back to being in a Starbucks uh, or if you're more familiar in the UK a Costa it's that sort of wonderful smell now that's all there is to it but don't forget when you're taking your pod out here you may well have very very hot water dripping from here so don't get your hand underneath there pull out your pod I just leave it there for a little while um, and then that's ready to go back in the pod back envelope to be recycled and used again. So, very simple guide. Hope you like it. Any questions, drop them below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. This is Paul from London. Cheerio. I'll see you in the next video.